Hello and thank you for watching this ZFlash tutorial. This video will give you a quick overview of the ZFlash 2.0 software. This software will only work with your module provided that you have been upgraded to the latest version of the ZFlash firmware. Once your module is plugged in using the provided USB cable, go ahead and load the software. First you want to click the question mark here and make sure you have version 2.0. This tutorial is only for 2.0 or later. We'll go ahead and click here, configure device. This will load the ZFlash programming utility. Starting up here, clicking this button will allow you to change between the six different flash patterns that are on the module. Up here, I can edit the pattern name by simply deleting and retyping. Right here is where you can pick all the different lights. Now keep in mind, not all of these lights will be available on each vehicle, but these are all the options that are available. And selecting this action will turn the light on or off. In a later video, you can find out exactly how to build and edit a pattern. Next, over here, you can pick lights to disable them. Keep in mind, each setting that I pick on this screen here will only apply to pattern 3. So go to pattern 4 and change that. I'll simply click the 4. And I can edit the patterns. I can change which lights flash. Over here, I can enable or disable a pattern. So if I don't want all my patterns to be active on the module, I can uncheck them here. If I were to work on the ZFlash programming utility while the module is plugged into the vehicle, I can go ahead and press these buttons, and this will allow the light show to actually play, and I can see what the pattern looks like. If at any time I make a major mistake, you can go ahead and click this, and this will reset your module to defaults. Keep in mind that will erase any customization that you have made. Over here, this will clear out the current pattern and allow you to start over. This uh, will save what changes you have made to the flasher, I would recommend doing this pretty often, just like when you're working on an important document, you want to make sure you keep saving in case something goes wrong. Right here is where you can save a custom pattern. So if you want to make a pattern and share it with someone, you can go ahead and click Save File. Right here will only work if you have a switch module with the hardwire option. There's three modes, and here you can select which pattern is activated in each mode. And over here you can select the speed. You have slow, medium, fast, and ludicrous. Slow patterns are great for halogen bulbs, Faster and ludicrous are great for LED bulbs. Again, once you have made all your changes, go ahead and click Save to ZFlash, click Exit, and your module will be ready to go. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the ZFlash.com for more great videos.